Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my breakdown for my child support payment. So I do get paid bi-weekly every other, every other Friday and I'm always like two weeks ahead. So I'm going to be posting this middle of May, but this is for June. I get paid $6.90, so um, it's May 14th and then May 28th. And then June 1st is my alimony payment. So I get paid every... Uh, on the first every month 250 so I'm just gonna show you how I divide it and how my sticky notes work so I'm gonna do for home it's 450 and you'll see how I break that down in my June sinking funds video um, and then for dentist it's 30 so this is a bill that just happened to come up because I like owed them money and then for chase it's gonna be 185. So if you follow me on Instagram, uh, it's the same as my YouTube channel, Budget with Natasha, that you'll see that I had done a lot of like uh, breaking my no spend. Um, I usually don't buy food out at all, but this month was just like, we had Cinco de Mayo, there's Mother's Day. So for Cinco de Mayo, I spent, I went to two different places. So this is from that. And then the fall, then I slept at my mom's house that night. My mom doesn't really cook, so she never really has food in her fridge. So I um, was there with my son and my little sister. So we got pizza. And then um, for Mother's Day, I took myself and my son out for breakfast. And then this Flora's is for the lunch that I took my mom out to for Mother's Day. Um, so all of that equaled 184.16, and I don't plan on spending any more money going out. Um, but I will just leave this there. I do have to, when I get this money, I will transfer it to my Chase account. So then for May 28th, this second child support payment, I use it to pay all my bills. So my bills equal to 590 a month. Okay, so for my son's school, $90 and we split that payment to 180 a month for Spotify it's 15 retirement gets 50 and progressive is my car insurance and that is 120 a month Central Hudson is the gas and electric here and that is 250 a month. And then Verizon is my Wi-Fi. And that is $60 a month. And then I'll just add these two. So it's Google Plus and Apple. And that's $5. So all these payments, except for my son's school, I pay with a check. But Spotify, Progressive, Central Hudson, Verizon, and these, they come out of my credit card so that I get cash back. So when I get this payment, it I will pay these back. Um, they're, they don't come until June because they're June bills. So I always have the money in my account ready for the transaction when it hits. So as soon as my Spotify hits, this is like on the second, then I will pull the $15 and pay it. And I do a zero base budget, so there's always only enough money for my expenses. And since I round them up, sometimes I have like maybe $5 of a buffer, but there's never really a huge buffer. Um, and then that just reminds me to go back over this. So I had $690 and $450 is for home, $30 is for the dentist, and then $185 leaves me with $25. So I'm just going to write here buffer $25. Um, I do like to have a little bit of money in my account and I think I'm going to do Chris budgets, um, was doing this challenge. I forgot what it was called, but any money that you left, have left over in your checking account, she'll transfer it to a savings. So I think I'm going to try and figure out where I would put it, but I'm going to try and do that as well. Um, because I run the numbers up sometimes like this dentist bill, I think it's actually like 28 and change. So, or like this chase is one eight one eighty four sixteen. So that means I'll have some change in my bank account so I can always like move that over somewhere else so for this May 28th so I have 690 all these bills equal 590 so 690 
minus 90 for school, 15 for Spotify, 50 for retirement, 120 for progressive, 250 for Central Hudson, 60 for Verizon, and then five for Google Plus and Apple. So that leaves me with $100. So um, I'm actually gonna leave $100 for the vet because I have to take my two dogs to the vet. Probably like May 28th is their like annual date. So probably I'll make the appointment for May 28th or around there. And I do have sinking funds for my dogs, but it's a hundred dollars short for their vet vet visit. The vet bill is gonna be about six hundred, and when I stuff for June, I'll still be short a hundred dollars. So I'm just gonna put this money here, so that way I can cover the whole bill and not accumulate credit card debt again. Um, and then for June first, I um, I know I have a ticket that I have to go to court for on June third. And I don't know how much it's gonna be, but I'm gonna say it's gonna be about 250. Um, hopefully not more than that. And I'm just gonna leave this blank for that because I don't know how much it's gonna be. I haven't had a ticket in a very long time, but I used to get them all the time. And like they're about 250. I've paid up to like $300 for one. I paid like 150. If it's gonna be less than 250, I made a little note here. I wanna get new envelopes, so I'm gonna be ordering from Sam's Crafts and Customs. So I just made a note here, like if I, let's say I spend 150, I'm still gonna get the envelopes and then whatever's left over will be like a buffer and I'll still do the challenge with that money. Um, so yeah, so I'm not gonna write it in here yet because I don't know how much it is. But I will do a check-in to see how all this stuff goes. Probably a little bit after June, I'll come back and update it. So that is it for my breakdown of my child support payments. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.